Welcome to Contracting Conversations. My name is Scott Williams and I'm joined by my co-host Jim Valley. Today we are talking about back to basics and the industrial contract property management with Ms. Tanya Guy Green, DU's Learning Director for Property and the Learning Asset Manager for the new property credential. Tanya, thank you so much for being with us here today. To get us started, please address the impact Back to Basics had on the industrial contract property management career field. The biggest impact that Back to Basics has had on the 1103 property career field is the fact that that career field was removed from the acquisition workforce, which means we are no longer an independent functional area. We are now considered a knowledge area within the contracting function. Now, what that also means is DEWIA certification, at least in industrial contract property management, is no longer available for people to get, um, whether you're in 1103 or any other career field. However, those of us who have already been certified in industrial contract property management, we get to hold on to those certifications as well as we're eligible to be grandfathered into the new contracting single level certification. That's interesting, Tanya. So what impact has this had on the DOD components or will have? Excellent question, because, you know, with respect to the DEWIA certification, DOD components actually use that as one of the criteria, specifically the education training experience um, criteria, to appoint their property administrators and their plant clearance officers. So now they're left wondering, how do we address that criteria now? What training do we have our people take? How do we get them educated? So that poses an issue for them. Hey, Tanya, are the courses that were previously available in property to achieve DIWEA certification still available now? Yes, absolutely. Um, IND 105, Contract Property Fundamentals, as well as IND 205, the auditing concepts for the property management system, those are still available and will remain available. There are no plans to discontinue offering those courses. As a matter of fact, if you go out to the DAUI catalog, you'll be able to pull up the schedule of the offerings. Great. Thank you, Tanya. So what is next for industrial contract property management? Well, we'll be discussing just that in part two of our interview with Tanya with a discussion on the new property credential. That'll be exciting. That's a future of DAU is credentials. So folks, this is all the time we have for today, but please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our Contracting Conversations channel. Type any comments you have below to include your questions for future shows. We may use your exact question on our future shows. Spread the word of this channel to your peers and to those you supervise or lead. Let us help you answer their questions. We look forward to having future contracting conversations with you.